demanding justice, an elderly man dying after being punched by a Detroit police officer. His family. Mind you, this man is 70 years old. Crazy, right? Yeah, so basically what happened is this officer totally escalated the situation, knocked him out on the ground, and he died, uh, I believe, a week later. Um, he was found uh, pretty much not guilty or the judge didn't take the case because he felt it wasn't excessive force, which is absolutely crazy to me. Uh, let me know what you think about this crazy video. Now the family, rightfully so, is requesting $50 million as far as the wrongful death lawsuit. Now taking legal action. He was killed in a horrific display of police brutality. A police brutality lawsuit filed months later. Someone needs to be held accountable to take responsibility for killing my dad. This man's family wanting answers after a judge dismisses charges against the officer. And it tops our news today at 5. We appreciate you joining us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. A new $50 million lawsuit leveled against the city of Detroit, its police department, and a former officer whose punch led to the death of Daryl Vance. Vance's death sparking criminal charges against that now former officer, Jawan Brown. Seven investigator Ross Jones showing us how last month's dismissal of those charges stunned some within police headquarters. And now today, a civil lawsuit leveled by Figer Law seeks to provide some justice for Vance's family. I spoke with Vance's son and nephew today about their loss. We miss him a lot. We miss him all a lot. This is Andre Vance talking about his father, Daryl, the man you see here in this video from September 1st of last year. What you see next, is why Detroit police, the city of Detroit, and the man in uniform who threw that punch, which led to Vance's death days later, are all facing a $50 million civil lawsuit for Daryl Vance's death. It's the same moment that prompted criminal manslaughter charges against the officer, Jawan Brown, who has since been terminated from DPD. An indefensible display of police brutality. And there is no defense whatsoever to what happened. We saw that two police commissioners commented on this and declared this to be um, excessive force. Those comments coming in a report from 7 investigator Ross Jones. Did it look like excessive force to you? Absolutely. No doubt. No doubt. I strongly disagree. I will break your F and draw. What kind of de-escalation that? was that? extreme excessive force. Yet, a judge didn't see it that way, dismissing the charges for a lack of evidence. I don't know if I'm ready to concede that that's excessive in light of the circumstances. I don't think that's excessive force. Does the dismissal of charges that, that are being appealed, does that affect this case in its validity at all? 0.0% affect uh, our case. It has absolutely no effect whatsoever on our case. It's not binding on our case. Harrington says a different burden of proof exists for the civil case. Regardless, the proof of pain for Darrell Vance's family is clear. The doctor was telling me that he had uh, was in the hospital hurt and cop a cop hit him. And uh, you know, I, I I was just when I heard that I was just like, oh, this ain't this ain't happening. They left him there on the ground without giving him CPR. The cop hit him and he fell and he didn't do nothing for 20 minutes. That's a long time to be without not breathing. Let me and they hope this civil case Please leads to comment. justice. What does justice and look make like? Make sure you hit family? the like button. Just, just um, he needs to be, you, you know, this, someone needs to be held to take responsibility right. for killing See my dad. Next time. Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy's office has filed an appeal of the dismissal of the criminal charges against former Officer Brown. That appeal is right now pending. Meanwhile, former Officer Brown has appealed his termination. The city of Detroit and its police department are declining to comment on this new lawsuit, citing policies on pending litigation. Mm -hmm. All right, appreciate your update there. Yeah. And questions you asked. Thanks a lot, partner. We'll see what happens with this one. Okay. This video was absolutely insane and unjust. Let me know if you think it was excessive force or not excessive force. Do you believe that the judge and the cop knows each other? Mm. Brings up a lot of 
curious questions. And not only that, this thug cop is trying to get his job back. We don't need this person on the streets. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Till next time.